Right here I have a set of six non-slip mattress gaskets. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what they look like and how they work. This is everything that came inside the package. We have six different sets right here. Each of these little mattress gaskets comes with two of these screws. The nice thing about these screws is when you screw them in, you don't have to worry about them scratching your mattress because there's no sharp edges. These are actually round top screws, so that's gonna be really nice. This also comes with this little L wrench, which is all you're gonna need to install this. So I do like that as well. I'm just gonna kind of basically explain to you how you are gonna install this. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my son's bed, which is where we have an issue. So basically we have a base underneath my son's bed. It's the standard metal bed frame that just goes on the ground. And then the mattress sits on top of it. We really like only having to have this simple bed frame and then the mattress on top of it, but his mattress seems to slide around on it. So sometimes it hangs a couple of inches off the edge until we realize that it's doing that and push it back over. So this is gonna be the perfect solution for that. Essentially, this part right here is going to fit over the side of your bed frame. And then you're gonna insert one of these screws into these holes. You're gonna insert actually two of the screws into there. And then you're gonna go ahead and insert the second screw just for extra stability. So right here you see we have this little floating piece right here. This is what's going to go against the screws and you're gonna fit the bed frame right in here. And these screws are gonna push this panel right up against your edge of your bed frame so that it's really nice and snug. The maximum width that this is going to fit onto is 1.38 inches. And that's just for your reference. I do like that this can fit a wide variety of sizes. You can see how adjustable that is. And then this is now gonna be on the top of your bed frame. And this is what's going to actually hold the mattress in place. And I really like that this lip is pretty large but it's definitely not gonna come over the mattress no matter how short your mattress is. I'm gonna go ahead and install a couple of these on the edge of my son's bed that has the mattress where it could fall off of it. And then I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Okay, I just put the gaskets on and you can see about how high they come up. This is a pretty short mattress, just for your own size reference. And you can see the gasket is not in your way. It's not in something that's going to like catch or anything like that. You can see when I lift up the mattress here, it's not catching on the mattress either. Let me just lift up this mattress so I can show you that the screws do not touch the mattress. Okay, so you can see right here, the screws are actually well below this area right here. So I do really like that. These aren't even touching the mattress and I like that they're rounded so I don't have to worry about it scratching this area down here. So you can see when he moves around on this mattress or pushes it around or is jumping on his bed, I don't need to worry about this mattress actually coming off of here because it's blocked right here. You could put as many as you're comfortable with this bed is actually next to the wall on one side, and so I just put two on both the top and the bottom of this mattress, and I feel like that's gonna hold it perfectly. But I do like that you can actually put this on the bottom of the bed as well if you're worried about the mattress kind of sliding off on the bottom as well. Overall, I love how functional these are and how small they are, and I like that they don't catch on anything.